Welcome to Boater Secret Weapon. I'm your host, Captain Matt, and today we're talking steering options and which is right for your boat, what they are, when they're good, when they're bad, and what to do if you're not happy with your steering. So let's look at the three options. You have mechanical steering, hydraulic steering, and power assist steering. So the mechanical steering is up in the top with the red arrow. You're essentially pulling and pushing the, the motor with the mechanical device. The hydraulic, you're pushing fluid through. That's the yellow system. And the green is the power assist. They look very similar. You can't really tell from the back. You have now an assist to push that fluid. So let's take a look at the mechanical. You have at the steering, there's a cable that runs from the steering wheel all the way back to the transom to a mechanical device, which is going to then move that motor based on your steering input. You're going to, with the propeller, it's going to be pretty easy against that propeller force. It's going to be significantly hard. The P force of the rotation of the prop is going to want to push that motor the direction of that rotation, right? To go against that, you're going to have to put extra effort in. You, the next is hydraulic steering. So now, instead of pushing and pulling a cable, we're going to push and pull fluid through a system. So at the helm, there's going to be a little uh, fluid fill that you can put in in the steering wheel. There's a, a tube now that goes from the helm all the way back to the transom to a hydraulic cylinder, which is gonna push and pull, and that's gonna steer the motor. Now, because you're not manually turning gears to push and pull a cable, you're doing it with fluid, it's much easier. So the more propeller force that you have, the easier it is to turn with it, is super easy. To turn against it, it's you're being helped now with that hydraulic fluid, and it's much easier to turn, okay? And then we have the power assist. Similar concept to the hydraulic. You've got fluid. You've got to fill at the, at the helm. It's pushing through a tube all the way back to the transom, that cylinder. The difference is there's a pump in that system, which is going to pump that fluid back and forth, making the steering better. Very, very similar to your car, as easy as, as driving your car down the interstate. What is the best one for you? Mechanical up to a 115 is okay. I can see it being on there, but my recommendation is even down to as low as 70, if you want that easier steering, uh, especially at speeds, because that propeller force is going to be more aggressive when you get on the throttle and when you're going at higher speeds, when that P force is, is really kicking in. So if you're going to be using your boat and you're going to be tubing, you're going to be more aggressive on the steering, you're going to be running at higher speeds and you just want it easier, maybe a 70, a 90, probably a 115. I, I'm, I'm going to lean towards hydraulic steering unless I'm just cruising at low speeds and I'm not going to use the power of that 115 very much and I'm really on a budget. Okay. Um, but 200, now that's kind of on the far end of the hydraulic steering is you're going to notice it much tougher to steer against that um at speed against that P force at speed. So the power assist, I start looking at that at 150 horsepower um, and then up anything in my mind, anything over 200, it's an absolute must, but I'm going to start looking at the 150 again, depending on my usage. If I'm tubing, which is, you know, tubing, you're going to be aggressive steering both ways and you want it to be pretty easy. You don't want to be fighting that turn all the time. Now, at low speeds, it's really not going to matter because there's not a significant amount of force by that propeller when you're docking in at idle speeds. So it's really just at higher speeds. So think about how you're going to be using your boat and where that tipping point is versus budget versus ease of use. If you For comfort, you can't beat power assist, um, but it's going to be $2,500, $3,000, $3,500 more expensive. Hydraulic steering is going to be $1,500. And sometimes it's just included on a 150. If you're buying a new motor, you just, it is going to come with hydraulic steering and you can move up to power assist. If you have a boat and you want to upgrade it, these are all systems that you can upgrade. So the Sea Star has a great system. Parts View is a place to get it. Hey, Parts View, if you want to sponsor, you're advertising on my videos all the time. If you want to do some sponsorship stuff, reach out to me. Let me know. But this is just a, a I have no affiliation with them right now, but this is just a uh, Amazon list when I when I Googled power assist steering. So you can buy these kits. If you're mechanically inclined, you can install them yourself. They're not super difficult, depending on how hard it is to run the tubing through uh, to run your hydraulic lines. So these are the steering systems. You can upgrade them if you choose to do so. And uh, if you're struggling with your steering, 
you, mechanical, first thing you may want to look at, okay, can I grease it and make it better? Is there a kink in my steering system? Let's address that. If that still doesn't do the trick, um, hydraulic steering is a great option. If you have a hydraulic system and moving up to the power assist, hey, now that's an option as well. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you've experienced a good or bad steering situation, go ahead and leave that comment. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.